What's going on guys, it's Gamer here, back again with another video, and today we are going to be reviewing Dragon Ball Super Episode 87, and we're going to go ahead and jump right straight into the video, and uh, this episode, episode 87, begins off with where it ended off in the last episode, obviously, and where basically Android 17 refuses to join the team for the Tournament of Power, and so the beginning of episode uh, 87, I'm sorry, um, Goku's trying to basically convince Android 17 to join the team so that way, you know, they could obviously win the tournament, the tournament of power and the universe doesn't get erased and then they would win the Super Dragon Balls as a prize. And speaking of that, Goku starts um, basically kind of begging 17 to join the team but he still is refusing. So he brings up the Super Dragon Balls and then... Uh, He's, he's like the Super Dragon Balls are like even one Dragon Ball, even one Super Dragon Ball is the size of a planet and it's one wish and you can basically wish for anything like it, it, the, the Super Dragon Balls have no limits for what you can wish for to the point where back in the, the Champa arc uh, Beerus used the Super Dragon Balls to wish back an entire planet from a from a different universe so that kind of shows you the power of, a, of the Super Dragon Balls. So he's, he's trying to convince Seventeen that the Super Dragon Balls, if you win, you get them. And then we go ahead and we jump off to uh, another scene where, if you remember in, in the, the ending of the last uh, episode, uh, there were actually these poachers that were planning on kidnapping all the planet uh, all yeah all the planets uh, animals uh, around the area where Goku and Android 17 were conveniently also because uh, excuse me I, I'm I'm pausing a lot I apologize for that but no it's also because the island that uh, Android 17 and Goku were there was uh, there was an animal that's actually extremely rare and then is basically almost extinct you know like it, there's only one living like animal of its species so it's almost completely extinct and so the poachers they uh, they take all the animals on uh, onto their ship and then Goku and 17 uh, they um, they get onto the ship and then they notice how these poachers have been kidnapping a whole bunch of animals from different planets so they go ahead and they go off and they start like fighting all the guys that are on the ship and then the next scene we see Android 17 uh, enter a room where he's actually confronting uh, the main um, like bad guy I guess of uh, of who owns the ship and who's like the big bad poacher motherfucker or whatever right <laughs> but no he's like starting to tell him like you, you better release these animals or else like you're gonna get hurt or whatever right that's just kind of what's gonna happen and then we kind of we kind of see this guy pull out you know a, uh, a remote uh, a remote that leads to a bomb and apparently the bomb is inside is inside of him and once he flips the switch the whole ship is going to be blown up he's going to be blown up all the animals are going to be blown up and then Goku and Android 17 are going to be blown up and I think this scene uh, I don't hate this episode, but I also don't like it either. I get, I mean, you get to see more of Android 17, and I actually really like Android 17 now. They, I mean, they really made him like really cool and badass in Dragon Ball Super. But this episode was like really stupid uh, in a lot of ways uh, throughout the whole episode because it's like this guy who doesn't even have a strong power level, who doesn't even have a high power level. He's not strong whatsoever. Goku is comparable to basically gods at this point, you know, you would think he would be fast enough to be able to snatch the remote out of the dude's hand and then they would be fine, but even Android 17, he's significantly stronger than what he was in Z, and then all of a sudden it's just like, oh no, they're not fast enough, oh, that, that's, that's weird. Anyways, we skip off to another scene where Beerus actually wakes up from a nightmare. Uh, and he's like, it's, it, he's like, it's, this is like a bad omen of what's gonna happen in the tournament of power, tournament of power, which I don't think it's gonna be. I don't think it really means anything. It's just kind of like some stupid anime filler 
thing. <laughs> so, anyways, se 17 is like, can you give my re can you give my regards to my wife and children and stuff like that? So he basically takes the guy, slams through the window, and this next scene I actually think it's uh, I actually think it's really funny and it's like an homage to uh, back in Z in the in the cell uh, tournament arc. Uh, where Goku uses instant transmission and he takes the guy uh, with the bomb or the remote to uh, the bomb that's inside of him in his hands to uh, Kaiosama's planet, which I thought was uh, really funny because uh, Kaiosama or uh, King Kai or, or the, the North King Kai, he's like, what the hell are you doing here? This guy has a bomb, get him out of here. I think that's, I, th I thought that was really funny how they kind of just like have the homage back to Z uh, with with Goku bringing a guy with a bomb inside of him over to Kaiosama's planet. I thought that was really funny. But later, uh, Dende, uh, it's like, like Goku, like the guy's lying, he doesn't have a bomb inside of him, it's fine, it's whatever. And then 17 is telling the guy to flip the switch to see what happens. And so he does, and then confetti kind of like explodes out of him. But no one dies, so I don't understand what the whole scene was about. And so it's it's kind of just whatever. Like I said, the episode this episode's just filler. It's kind of just like I, I guess the whole animation team is just taking like a really like good amount of time to be able to you know get ready to obviously like animate the whole tournament of power like saga like, like this arc. It's gonna be amazing. I can already tell. But these filler episodes like showing off like Boo. Uh, Android 17 where it's like they gotta do this or that or whatever. I don't really understand the point of it But the next scene shows that Jocko he's taking the ship that belonged to the poachers and the poachers are on the ship uh, He's taking him because as you know, he's a galactic patrolman So he's basically space police and so he takes him and then he arrests them The next scene shows off Goku and Android 17. They're kind of just like talking about how they're talking a whole bunch of stuff and then 17 actually then agrees to join the team for the tournament of power and then so he also goes ahead and explains that uh he's going to use the wish from the super dragon balls so that way he can then get enough money to be able to wish for uh, or not wish uh to buy a boat for so that way him and his whole family could go travel around the planet but a lot of people I've seen, uh, mainly Rhinestock, that's the only video I've seen in the last couple of days um, I've reviewed on this episode. He, they, uh, they were, he was saying, like, the wish is stupid, that, like, he would wish for money so he could then buy a boat. And I, I, can, I can agree with that, but I can agree that the wish is stupid. But the scene itself, I don't think it's, uh, it's dumb, because it really truly shows that... 17 cares about his family um, the, Like just people who he just he's, it shows that he's significantly changed back from Z like in Z He was like a heartless killer and then now it's like He has a family to care about and he's different So I, I like the scene because it shows how much he's he's changed and that he's different But like the wish itself. I think is like kind of dumb and I get it, but you know, what can you do? so anyways uh, the scene ends off uh, with 17 basically agreeing that he is going to join the tournament of power and then we just go on and move to the next episode that uh, won't air until this Saturday so you know, obviously the link will be in the description for uh, for Crunchyroll so you guys can go and catch up on Dragon Ball Super it's going to be in Japanese but if you guys want to wait for the English dub it's gonna be a little while but if you guys want to go watch the dub just uh, keep your eye on the fun uh, on Funimation and stuff like that. But if you want to go ahead and watch the Japanese version now and catch up with everybody, uh, the link in the description will be down there to Crunchyroll's website for Dragon Ball Super. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video right here. If you guys did enjoy, it, be sure be sure to drop a like, and if you're brand new to the channel, also be sure to consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.